behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all people round about when they shall be in siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. I believe this is talking about the world gathering together against the church, against Christianity, because that's what we're seeing today. Sure, there's problems in the Middle East and, uh, um, you know, around Jerusalem, and it does seem to be somewhat of a boiling point. So I can see where people get the idea that that's what this verse is referring to. But is God more concerned with defending a geographical location um, in the New Testament? Or is he more concerned about defending his people? You know, I can think of a lot of different teachings in the New Testament where Jesus says um, that you shouldn't, that anybody who offends one of his little ones, his Christians, it were better that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he drowned to the bottom of the sea. So it seems as though what God cares most about, to me anyways, the way I'm seeing this, is his people and not the piece of dirt that we call Jerusalem today. Um, so, is there a siege against Christianity today? Well, yeah, I think we talked about that, but here's a, here's a picture I found off of a website. Um, I believe it was called um, theprayernetwork.com. And it's a good depiction of this. Look at all these different groups aligned against Christianity. I mean, you got the Islamists, uh, you've got the ADL, you've got the the LGBT, you've got the, 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 the communists, you've got the peace movement, um, you've got the multiculturalists, you name it. They're all against the traditional biblical Christian. We know we're called the haters. That's how they're attacking us. Um, so that, that says a lot right there. I mean, think of it. I think this prophecy that we're reading in Zechariah, definitely can be applied to what we are seeing before our face today with these, with this group of people here. All these groups aligned against God's people. It's a demonic alliance. I mean, think about it. I mean, it even almost seems like it's directed um, real specifically against the Christians in America. And for some reason, there's also... Um, this peculiar hatred against white people in America. Now, some believe, and there's a pretty good argument made for it, that uh, the Caucasian peoples in America are actually descendants of the lo 10 lost tribes of Israel, who later accepted Christ, became Christians, formed the Christian nations, and so forth, which would kind of make sense why there is this demonic hatred against them. Because there's even a hatred against white people that are not Christians. And you don't really see that among other peoples of the world. Um, you don't really see, you know, let's say Chinese, Asian people or uh, people of color. You just don't see people hate them for who they are. I mean, sure, there's a small group of, uh, you know, people can call them um, KKK nuts or whatever that do that. But I'm talking about in masses. There's this extreme hatred being um, fomented by the media against white people. Am I, uh, you know, promoting, uh, you know, big uh, white power and all that? No, I'm just saying we've got to we've got to at least be able to see what's before our very eyes and, and try to line it up with Scripture. So if through Scripture. The devil hated Israel, uh, Revelation 12, the, the remnant of the woman's seed. And he follows her all the way to the end. And that remnant of the woman's seed actually ends up keeping the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Then perhaps Christians and Israel, the is 10 lost tribes of Israel, are kind of synonymous. All right, I'll leave that for, for food for thought. So, so maybe when we're, we're looking in the Bible and we're reading about Israel and, and, and the uh, Apostle Paul says God has not forsaken Israel, maybe, maybe instead of looking over at the Middle East, at the modern-day Israeli nation, maybe it's referring more specifically to America and other Western Christian 
nations in what was Western Christian civilization. Um, because that seems to be the object of Satan's destruction. He wants to destroy Western Christian civilization. And um, anyways, let's get into it here. For, um, well, here, going back and looking at this. Okay, so when we're talking about Jerusalem, are we talking about a literal city in prophecy or are we talking about the symbol of the church? Um, so in other words, in the New Testament, does Jerusalem represent geographical, a geographical location on the map? Or does it represent the church or the true Christians, the Bible-believing Christians? I'll leave that up for you to decide, but I will point out some interesting scriptures. Um, you know, before I get to the scriptures, though, let me just say this. You know, Jerusalem was the center of worship. Uh, that's where the temple was. That's where... That's what, that's what made the city holy, was the temple and the sacrifices that were done there. But... Jesus became that sacrifice, the last sacrifice made, if you would, in Jerusalem. So, being that Jesus fulfilled that, now Jesus is the center, instead of geographical uh, Jerusalem, Jesus is the center of new, or the, the center of our worship. It's how we all gather together. We gather together in spirit and in truth in the name of Jesus, not in the name of Jerusalem or not in the name of Zion. All right. So he also said to the scribes and Pharisees, he said, destroy this temple. And he's pointing at the, uh, I think he was pointing at the uh, physical temple likely. And he says, and I'll rebuild it in three days. I think referring to a transformation of the earthly things to the heavenly things. And in other words, his body was the temple. He was going to rebuild a new temple in place of the old. The old was just a physical representation of the real deal, which was Jesus Christ. All right? All right. So the church is the dwelling place of God today. So um, a couple scriptures to doc that, document that would be Matthew 18, verse 20.